hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i am finally deciding to post consistently again but we'll see how long that sticks since quarantine started i've not really been in the headspace to film anything however today i wanted to do something fun and i decided to head over to disney springs so today I am just going to show you what I do every single time I go to Disney Springs. I am an annoyingly habitual being and my steady routines in life seem to be the only thing I can control these days, so we are sticking to it. Our first stop of the day, it is the Coca-Cola store. Honestly, I feel like it's a little underappreciated and not many people know everything about it, so I am here to guide you into the light. This is the first floor, it has t-shirts, hats, magnets, stickers, backpacks. I found this super cute crossover sweatshirt with Disney and Coke, but your girl just did not have $40 to drop on it. So we have made it to the second floor, which holds household items like kitchenware, ornaments, snow globes, lunch boxes, pajama sets, and these adorable lip smacker chapsticks that look like cups of coke. I mean, look at them, they're so cute. The second floor is also home to Coca-Cola's greatest treasure, which is the Coca-Cola polar bear. I forgot his name, but his den is super cool. He's a little terrifying looking, but I think it's a great family experience and a fun memory to have. We are now on the third and my personal favorite floor. It has a rooftop bar with an amazing view. The mimosas are spectacular and I just think this is a great photo op area. Highly recommend. In conclusion, Coke should be the top of your to-do list for Disney Springs. We are on to our next location which is the famous Chicken Guy. It is owned by Guy Fieri and the french fries here are to die for. I love how many dipping sauce choices there are and usually I have an issue with seating but it looks like they're expanding so that's really exciting. Please wear a face covering. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Clean your hands often and thoroughly with soap and water or with alcohol-based hand sanitizer and maintain physical distancing. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. So our next stop is Uniqlo, which is my favorite store to shop at. Like 90% of my closet is from this store. And they normally have these Disney crossover tees. They had a sale going on for these t-shirts that were a manga Disney crossover and I just had to get a set of t-shirts. So I'm heading upstairs. It has all kids and women's wear up here, but on the second floor there is a really nice view of Disney Springs. And as you can see here, I ended up spending that $40 anyway on a fat stack of clothes from Uniqlo. Our next stop is an obvious stop, the world of Disney. If you go to Disney Springs and don't go into this store, I don't know why you even bothered coming. This is basically the church of all Disney merchandise. I mean, seriously, it is never ending. And then I found this Disney Villains Clue board game and I just knew that my friends were gonna love it. Well, at least I would if I had any. So one of my favorite features of this store is they have animations up on the walls and every once in a while they'll come to life and I just think it's a lot of fun to see the pictures moving like magic. So my last stop is the Starbucks kiosk right outside of World of Disney. They always have their own like secret menu of themed drinks and it's just a nice little pick me up at the end of the day. So that completes my list of must do's, but here are some honorable mentions. These Lego statues outside of World of Disney. If you can, get a reservation at Paddlefish. I've been here twice with my aunt. It's so bougie and so good. I'd love to go again, but it's hard to find people that were willing to splurge money on food. So I recommend finding this cute photo up wall. I always forget that it's here, so I always get really excited when I find it again. 
and here is a video of me taking photos of myself but then I get super embarrassed because a woman walks up to me and asks if I want her to take my photo and instead of being a normal human being I just walked away so this next stop is a bonus stop. Go ahead and find this handsome statue sitting right next to this normal looking bridge and you will find the clearest, bluest water on property. Some days I just come here and hope that my crippling chronic anxiety just washes away. My last honorable mention is Maria and Enzo's Ristorante. It is owned by an italian family so the pizza is so freaking good highly highly recommend and we have made it back to where we started amazing at this point i was starting to get like heat stroke and i knew it was about to rain so i was like adios disney springs love you so much as soon as i exited the garage it started pouring raining and if that isn't disney magic for you i really don't know what is but if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe for more content and i will see you guys on the flippity flop bye guys